How's it going? Hi. Can you hear me all right? <clears throat> I think the notification just went right now, so it's good, good. I have had a very productive day. Ah, yay! Already? Again? Oh my, six months, and I'm making bread. Great. Thank you so much, Jinx. Let me get the sub wheel happening. I feel like we just did this the other day. Was it really? <laughs> really a month ago? That's crazy. Okay, so wheel, wheel. All right, we're spinning it. Hopefully I don't get another margarita because I just made this cup of tea. Okay, it's you pick vegetable, Jinx. So I haven't decided what I'm doing for my next stream, but if you'd like, you can pick a vegetable and I will incorporate it into whatever I'm going to be making on Wednesday. You don't have to decide right now. Cauliflower? Okay, if you want. I'm making something with cauliflower in it today, but I can definitely do more cauliflower on Wednesday. Does that sound all right? Yeah, I have two short days this week at work, so I'm gonna be getting home pretty early on Wednesday. So I'm gonna do another stream at four o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. <coughs> so I don't know what to make yet, but I'll come up with something cauliflower-ish. It'll be fun. I'm actually trying to come up with more and more ways to make cauliflower, um, to put cauliflower in things that are actually very flavorful because uh, MVP, she says she hates cauliflower, but I've been making it a lot and uh, each time she's like, you made it taste good. And maybe more streams are needed so my resubs aren't so close together. I know, like it, it literally felt like last time, but it might've been the time before that. <laughs> if I didn't have to work nine hour days every day, then I would have more stamina to stream, but I've the way that I've set up everything right now, it only takes me 10 minutes to get everything going, so it should keep it relatively easy to um, <clears throat> set things up moving forward. So I, I, I will aspire to um, stream more. I really will. Um, okay, so you guys, I have uh, quite a few things that I want to do today. And I'm gonna start with the soup because it takes an hour. Um, with red lentils, if you want them to be nice and smooth, you have to cook them for a pretty long period of time. So I'm gonna be making a red lentil soup with nutritional yeast in it, and that tastes very cheesy. Um, and I originally was making it with potatoes and Potatoes are very starchy. Um, when MVP was doing Weight Watchers, um, potatoes cost a lot of points. So I'm still trying to incorporate more vegetables into things that are low points because even though she's not counting points at the moment, um, she still wants to you know, lose a few pounds whenever she can. And uh, potatoes somehow, they're not on the weight loss friendly list. So that's why we're gonna do cauliflower this time and see what happens. Uh, so I have a very small amount of olive oil warming in that pot because oil also costs points, but on only over a certain amount. So I have like a teaspoon or less in there. Um, because you only really need a small amount in order to get things browned pretty well. So that's what we're gonna do. Usually I would use a yellow onion for this, but I don't have any. It'll still be pretty similar. It's a very flavorful soup. 
so I don't think the red onion will take away from it in any capacity. And I made a vegetable broth earlier today that I'm going to be using in this soup. still don't have my page set up for um, giving you directions on how I make vegetable broth, but I will. Trying to get my website set up so that I have reference pages that people can go to pretty regularly. Um, I'm working on one that has like nutrition resources. It's just not entirely finished yet. Okay, so I'm adding three cloves of garlic. Jinx needs to figure out what to do for dinner. What are your op options, Jinx? Are you gonna cook something or are you gonna do takeout? What are your thoughts? I am still trying to cook in limited amounts. Because um, I have a lot of stuff that I work on. It's not just, you know, working and streaming. I have a lot of stuff at the house that I need to take, take care of. And my car has been giving me all kinds of problems. So cooking is something I try to do like three times a week. That's why I make so much stuff when I stream. Jinx says, I pulled out chicken, so it's what to do with that. I see. Well, you could always do some sort of barbecue thing. Do you like barbecue chicken? I need to rinse this off. It's too oniony. It burns my eyes. Boy. I've never, I gotta be honest with you, I've never made chicken, so I really don't know what you do with it. <laughs> Is it already cut up? You can make fajitas. Chicken fajitas are good, right? Hey, burger. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite soups and I haven't been making it because um, on Weight Watchers, potatoes cost a lot of points and um, MVP was doing Weight Watchers, logging her points, food and points and stuff for a little while, but She's not doing that right now, but I'm still going to use a zero point uh, veggie in it instead of potatoes and see how it goes. Alright, so I'm adding 32 ounces of vegetable broth. Oh, it got on my muffin pan. And then a cup of red lentils. And the red lentils, when they dissolve, are going to give it a nice hearty thickness without a bunch of calorie dense starches. Okay. Ugh, it's so oniony in here. Cauliflower is great. You love it. Yeah, we've been trying. I've been trying to come up with more ways to make it so that MVP will tolerate it. She actually hates cauliflower and um, I've been doing like really um, flavorful things with it to kind of mask the flavor because it's really just the flavor that she doesn't care for. Okay, so for spices. Ugh. So much onions. I 
think part of the problem is the raw onion that's in that scrap bowl. <coughs> um, okay, focus. We're focusing. I'm gonna put some red pepper in it. Just a few shakes of red pepper flakes. Big out. Thank you for the host, Jake. Burger says my Nana makes some kind of mac and cheese with cauliflower, but with no noodles. That sounds yummy. Um, smoked paprika and sage. I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of each of these in there. It gives it a really nice earthiness with also being a little spicy. But not super overwhelming. Smoked paprika is like one of my favorite spices on the planet. And then we're just going to do a little salt and pepper. And this is it for a little while. So here's the deal, right? Cauliflower is a very delicate vegetable. If I put it in now, it will completely disintegrate within an hour. So I still want some of it to be chunky. So I'm gonna wait before I add it and then um, get it in there so that when it's finished cooking, it's still a little bit large. Oh, Jinx has redeemed 200 means to give me a cookie. Again, I am sorry, I don't know why the alert didn't go off. Today we have Biscoff cookies. And I am going to eat one. Thank you, Jinx. <laughs> have you guys had Biscoff cookies before? For some reason they say the word lotus on them. I'm not really sure why. It's really delicious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, they make cookie butter. Maybe, if not out of these, it's the same flavor as these cookies. Okay. So now that that's going, I'm going to work on putting my muffins in the oven. Alexa, soup timer for half an hour. Okay. <clears throat> it's just so oniony in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put all our dry ingredients in a bowl and then we're gonna put our wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and we're gonna mix it just until it's combined and then we're gonna pour it into some greased pans. So the deal is that I baked a sweet potato but I didn't end up eating it. So this is kind of a recycled recipe and I've never made it before. So we're gonna see what happens. Um, I'm using a combination of flours because I don't want these to be 100% bad for me. I want them to have some nutritional value because I need to make sure I'm eating enough at work now that I've started running again. And I usually just end up getting the bad for me baked goods that we sell. <coughs> and I don't want to like completely defeat the purpose of running, right? So that's what we're going to try out. 
So I'm putting a one cup of regular flour in to start. And then I'm gonna also use whole wheat pastry flour and chickpea flour so that it has more nutrients and more protein. Excuse me. My face hurts. <clears throat> I mean, on top of that, I'm also like still cruddy <coughs> from being sick for a month. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> oh man, come on. All right. I just want to not be sick anymore. Look, like, I'm sneezing so much my eyes are watering, it's terrible. And I don't really have any more symptoms other than just coughing. And like, nothing comes out. And it's just miserable and I hate it. I'm so tired of it. It's not fair. this whole wheat pastry flour to make a recipe for the stream and I never did it so I mean at least I'm using it finally but I should probably make what I was gonna make before I have this book um, no meat athlete cookbook and it has some baked good recipes in there that are like supposed to be a little better for you I guess kind of the same thing that I'm trying to do here. But um, it's like they have a deep dish apple pancake recipe. So I was gonna make it and I just never did. So we're making sweet potato muffins instead. Whole wheat pastry flour has actually improved a lot in the past like decade or so. I remember you only used to be able to get stone ground in times past. And I mean, that really defeats the whole purpose of it being pastry flour. <clears throat> One teaspoon of baking soda. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of arrowroot starch. Hello. <clears throat> and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. 
and amber root acts like a really nice binder especially when you're not using eggs or anything that is an emulsifier. Healthier baking is one of the things that I really want to get into, but I just haven't like committed the time to it yet. <clears throat> so I'm hoping, I'm really hoping these come out good and then I can like kind of use this recipe as inspiration for other recipes in the future. Okay, so the dry part is done. Let's see if my sweet potato is still good. It still looks like a sweet potato to me. I don't really know how long these things are supposed to last in the refrigerator. Yeah, so I made a bunch of stuff last week um, for dinners and things, and I was gonna like saute some some veggies and make like a topping for the baked sweet potatoes, but I just never did it. So it's just been sitting in the refrigerator. I was gonna get some of those um, Aldi meatless meatballs and just kind of put it on top with some mixed veg. Because <clears throat> I've done that before. The Aldi, the Aldi veg, um, veggie meatballs are actually really good. If you guys haven't tried them yet, you should. So, I'm gonna do like half of a cup of sweet potato. And I'm using a healthy fat instead of oil or butter. I'm gonna try to use coconut mana. And it definitely needs to be melted before I can do this. Let's see. I tried to make like a chocolate bar with coconut mana and I just mixed in some maple syrup and some maca powder and it did not taste very good. So I'm not sure how putting it in a baked good is going to go. I kind of anticipate that it's just going to be coconutty.
I'm melting it at half power because I don't want it to like get crazy melty. But it seems like it needs longer than 30 seconds. I don't know if you've ever tried to melt coconut oil in the microwave before, but it splatters a lot. Nobody wants that. I think that the onioniness is starting to be allevi alleviated. <clears throat> Oh, I forgot to put my spices in the batter. What did I want to do? Teaspoon of cinnamon. And a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay. tablespoons. Burger says, oh no, now I'm hungry. <laughs> well, what are you guys going to make? That worked out pretty well. Let's see if I have enough. So, um, I kind of formulated this recipe using like a muffin formula out of a book. So, for the liquid portion, I'm just kind of starting with what I think I might need, and then I might have to add more. Um, sweet potato, half a cup of maple syrup. Seems like a lot, so I'm actually gonna do a third. Maple syrup is very sweet. Bellandora says, I was watching the Vegan Week episodes of Great British Baking Show a few days ago, and most of the contestants were struggling with it. Great to see someone who has experience with cooking vegan. Oh, thank you. Burger says, I don't really cook. I should, but I sort of just eat what my family eats here. Yes. That happens to a lot of people. Um, I've, I've told people who have come into the stream before that I, my parents didn't really teach me how to cook. Um, I don't have any of those stories that are like, my grandmother taught me how to make sugar cookies when I was 12 years old. Um, so, I just kind of wing it until I knew what I was doing. Okay, and then I'm going to do a half a cup of non-dairy milk. And I'm going to whisk this together and then I'm going to see what it looks like. So yeah, I, my mom never taught me how to cook really. I think she probably offered and I just wasn't interested. <clears throat> and uh, true story, so the reason that I first went vegan in 1998 or whatever 
was that I was watching the Rosie O'Donnell show, which was a talk show, for those of you who are too young to remember, or who didn't see. And um, she had an actress on there whose name is Mary Lou Henner. She was in the show Taxi. That's from a very long time ago, 70s or 80s. And uh, Mary Lou Henner had just recently recovered from having cancer, and she was really into health food and working out and stuff. So she wrote a book about all of that, um, and she was on that show talking about it. So that was my first introdu introduction to veganism. Um, and I kind of really dove right into it without really knowing what I was doing. Um, so I was vegan for probably like five years or so. Um, and then I just kind of stopped because I, I really wasn't, I wasn't feeding myself properly. So, um, I took a break. I was just kind of like vegetarian, occasionally having seafood. Um, and then when I got together with MVP in 2008, um, that's really when I started learning how to cook. Like, when I lived on my own, I just kind of steamed vegetables and ate a lot of pizza and went out <laughs> for food. Um, but yeah, you know, when, when you first move in with someone and you're like doing romantic things, I clearly need more liquid, you guys. Um, cooking is one of those things like, that brings people together. And that's kind of our story. So, MVP became a vegetarian after that. I'm adding another half a cup of milk. <clears throat> and then she was vegan for a while, and then I went vegan again in 2011. And I say that, but I'm not really vegan. Like, I do make exceptions um, for medications and prescriptions. Um, clearly, I have cats, and I feed them cat food, so I don't really feel like that qualifies as being a vegan because I still exploit uh, animals for my cat's gain, but that's just my personal interpretation of it. I don't, I don't eat meat. I don't eat dairy products. Um, I feel like everybody's just kind of trying to do what they can in order to be healthy and then also not be terrible people. Um, and that's really the only thing we can do. This is very thick. Which is kind of what I was expecting. It smells really delicious. Okay, I actually feel like that's a really good consistency for muffins. So, I need to oil this pan, and I don't have cooking spray, so I am going to, and I don't have regular regular oh I do have regular canola oil I guess I'll just do olive oil and I don't know how many muffins this is gonna make I feel like I have to do at least eight
Burger, if you do want to learn how to cook food, there's a number of channels on YouTube, and I'm sure that you can find like an intro sort of one that'll teach you the basics. Like, what you should probably look for is something that's like cooking for beginners. Because there's all kinds of like ways to feed yourself that don't require a lot of in-depth cooking skill. Like, um, traditional ways of making food, like sauteing, uh, pan frying, steaming, blanching, parboiling, that sort of thing. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. But yeah, if you're if you're interested in, in learning how, there I'm sure there's a lot of information out there if you wanted to try it out. So I'm gonna just gloop a bunch of these in here. I'm gonna squish it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna add super special topping, which is gonna be a combination of crushed walnuts and sugar. All muffins should be topped with sugary goodness. I do the walnut thing with my banana bread too, it's amazing. So you guys, it seems like I actually need the, uh, a couple more of these. Maybe not. Jinx, have you decided what to do with your chicken? You're still thinking? What are some of your favorite things to do with chicken? Is it a whole chicken? Is it chicken pieces? What have you had recently? Chicken breast. Bell and Dora says, my mom has celiac, so most of the dinners I have are gluten-free. I try to do gluten-free um, dinners, but again, mine is sort of because of MVP dieting. Um, carbohydrate, like, I don't wanna say carbohydrates because vegetables are carbohydrates, but anything with grains in it, um, is a lot of points. And I'm sure that has to do with the fact that they're higher in calories. 
but they are, you know, high carb too. Weight Watchers is kind of weird because it's not just carbs because vegetables are zero points and fruits are zero points. You can have as many of those as you want on Weight Watchers. But grains, it must have more to do with your metabolism and how you metabolize them. Like, um, you can have them, but they just cost you more points. Bellandora, I actually, I love pasta, but it's not something that MVP can have regularly at the moment because of her weight loss thing. Um, I used to make it all the time, and I was going to make um, this spinach pasta dish um, that I used to make, but just with beans instead. <clears throat> and I'll probably still do that in the future, but the other day, I tried, it, I was going to use chickpeas for that. So I made chickpeas, and I, I wanted to try to come up with some more smoothies that I could have at work that would actually hold me over. So I'm like, I was looking at my No Meat Athlete cookbook, like I was talking about earlier, and they have a recipe in there that uses like white, white beans, cannellini beans, in the smoothie. And I'm like, I wonder if there's a recipe that uses chickpeas um, in a smoothie. And sure enough, I looked it up and there was one. And I, I gave it a chance. I pretty much followed the recipe. I just doubled the amount of dates that were in it. It said as a sweetener to use one date. So I used two dates and it was actually really delicious. It described it as take, like tasting like a, a snickerdoodle cookie. And it really did. It just, it kind of tasted like a cookie dough. So I'm definitely going to be making more chickpea smoothies and just using chickpeas in place of things a lot in the future. This would probably benefit from a twisty tie instead of a rubber band. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to sprinkle them all with coconut sugar instead of regular sugar. Now, I think there's still... Alexa, stop! So the timer went off, so there's... It's definitely time to put the um, cauliflower in the soup. So, there hasn't actually been any studies about it, but coconut sugar might be a lower glycemic sugar than traditional, so that's why I'm using it today. I got this at Walmart. It was only a few dollars. I want to say it was like four or five bucks, which is pretty cheap. Better Body Foods Organic Coconut Palm Sugar, an unrefined sugar alternative. You just gonna skillet it? I'm gonna do that for dinner. With miscellaneous vegetables. Alright, so we're gonna check on these in 20 minutes. Alexa, set muffin timer for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's time to add the other things to the soup. Cutting board, what did I do with it? Oh, it was too oniony. <laughs> you're freehanding it like um, you're not following a recipe
Honestly, I don't know if you can eat cauliflower that's kind of discolored, but I usually just chop off those pieces just in case. Yep. Welcome to my world, Jinx. <laughs> so I have to find something really unexpected to, to use for the cauliflower recipe on Wednesday, Jinx. Um, because I just used the tempura cauliflower recipe again, so I don't want to do that. Maybe I could do... Could do cauliflower fritters. Don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's some fun air fryer thing I can do with them. Bellandora says we always end up cooking two kinds of pasta because my dad doesn't like gluten-free pasta. Yeah, gluten-free pasta leaves a lot to be desired, but when you're doing a gluten-free thing, you really don't have very many options. I actually really like um, the BioNature gluten-free one that comes in a white package. It's like a combination of various grain flours and soy flour. Um, it's very firm, very reminiscent of traditional pasta. So if you guys haven't tried that one out, you, sh you should check it out. I'm not doing, I don't like do gluten-free stuff typically, but um, regular pasta is a little too heavy for me. Ouch, ouch. Okay, so let's look at this. I'm just gonna add some more liquid. See how the lentils are dissolving pretty well? That's exactly what we want. I'm also going to add some more seasonings and some frozen greens. I'm not sure when I bought this two pound bag of frozen kale, but it's lasted me forever. Mashed cauliflower? I don't know. I've heard really great things about mashed cauliflower, but I've never tried it myself. That looks pretty good. Okay, so let me take a look at my recipe. So I need to do some liquid aminos and some nutritional yeast. Mmm, kale. I know. I love kale. I'm really bad about uh, using it when it's fresh, though, so I have officially given up. I only buy the frozen kind unless I'm going to make the fresh kale the same day. And I need another tablespoon. So I'm putting two tablespoons of the nutritional yeast in here. And that's what's going to give it its cheesiness. It's going to give it nice cheesy flavor with lots of B vitamins. And then one tablespoon of nutritional, I mean, liquid aminos, which is like soy sauce, but different.
So I turned the heat back up and I'm just gonna bring it back up to a simmer and then turn the heat down a little bit and cook it until the cauliflower is done. So far so good you guys, this is great. Uh, so for Christmas, I got this nifty little tea sampler. I'm not sure where my mother-in-law got it, but it's um, different flavored black teas. So today I'm drinking the ginger one. The Earl Grey one is very tasty. I drank that one last week on the stream. Or the week before. I think it was the week before. Cause that, Jinx, I remember that's when, um, that's when you did your sub thing, I think, and, uh, I had to drink a margarita instead. <laughs> but it's very tasty. Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna turn that down again. And for dinner this evening, I am going to make a skillet. And by that, I mean I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff in a pan and cook it. And that's it. Bellandora says being part of a local CSA over the summer is wonderful, fresh veggies, yum. I did that for a little bit when we lived in Austin and it is great. Jinx says, I'm having youthberry and wild orange blossom tea right now. What is a youthberry? I've been hoarding it as it's a tea vana tea and they don't do loose leaf tea for sale anymore. Oh, that's lame. I really love loose leaf tea. Loose leaf tea is great. For a skillet, you're gonna do the same thing you would do for pretty much anything you make in a pan. So you're gonna brown some garlic and then add your veggies. And you know what? I'm actually gonna not turn this on yet because I don't have my veggies chopped. So let's see what we got. I think we have some peppers and we have some broccoli. And we have chickpeas. Got some cabbage. Actually, that cabbage doesn't look very great. Oh no, my pineapple's moldy. I have little sweet peppers. Ooh, tempe. No, we're gonna use this. We're gonna do broccoli and tempe and a pepper for sure. Oh, and I have a zucchini. Let's do some zucchini. Don't want carrots. Do a red pepper. Okay, let's just do this. It'll be good. Hey, McVegan pants. Late as you need to stay. Okay. Inventory must not be going so great. Sorry, sweet.
You're gonna have all kinds of delicious things to choose from to eat when you get home, though. Hello? Need vegan pants has subscribed. All right, MVP. Before you go away, we're gonna spin your wheel. Okay? Wheel. All right, pay attention. <laughs> make a margarita. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make a margarita in your honor and I'm gonna drink it and I'm gonna think about you and miss you because you're not home yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, guys. My MVP. House is so quiet without you. It's so quiet when you're not here. It's not a thing that I care for very much. I don't know what happened to my margarita cup measure thingy. Probably dirty. No one sings all the time? That's right. I try to sing, but I don't, I definitely don't sing all the time. Well, we'll just make a really big margarita. It's a, sh it's a shame that she's too busy to stick around and see what happens. Um, MVP and my sister-in-law and my niece went to see the new Mary Poppins movie yesterday and it was very good. To be fair, I don't really remember what happens um, in the original. I know that I watched it and I know that I liked it, but I don't really remember what happened. So. I did leave, I ended up leaving the movie theater thinking to myself, I wish that I knew how to dance because after seeing that movie, I just kind of want to like be the type of person who just dances randomly uh, in a group <laughs> walking down the street. Surely people do that in real life, right? It's not just in the movies. That's the kind of person I want to be. So I told MVP, and I think we have to learn how to dance so that we can be those people. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't put this on camera. Public service announcement, don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. And that is how you make a margarita. Or that's how I make a margarita. Because I'm out of triple sec. And I don't have time to do that whole shaker cup thing. So I don't. Okay, so. Delicious. got the thingy over there. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know I'm gonna do another thing for subs. I've decided that I'm gonna do sub artwork and this is just a thought I came up with myself. I've seen a lot of people have like sub boards where they put like a note or a sticker on the board representing each sub 
and it's kind of like that. But what I'm gonna do is have a like a piece of scrapbook paper and I'm gonna cut out things from magazines and ads and put them in like a hat or a bin or something. And whenever anybody subs or resubs, I'm gonna pull something out and then that thing is going to be put on the paper to make a piece of artwork. And then after like 10, 15 pieces of art kind of come together on the piece of paper, it's gonna be considered finished. I'm going to put it on my Discord and I'm going to save it. I'm gonna tag every, everybody that's involved in making it. Um, and then if I ever get enough um, people involved, I'm, I'm gonna basically auction off the originals to raise money for a charity. But that's gonna be really far, far down from now. But that's my thought. So I need to go get some supplies and I'm gonna start by um, getting everybody who has subbed so far and then just playing it by ear from there. Doesn't that sound fun? I feel like that sounds like a lot of fun. And I'm gonna change the brightness on this camera. It's just doing that, okay. It does sound cute, doesn't it? I thought it sounded like a lot of fun. Got water all over the floor. Yay. The sub collage, yes. Basically. Hey, Rusty. You want some broccoli? Rusty's a good doggo and he eats his vegetables. Here, come over here. <laughs> here you go. Yum. <laughs> Such a good dog. All right, so I'm actually gonna dice the broccoli in this one very finely because with a skillet, you basically want as small pieces as possible. And it's okay if all these little broccoli bits get all over the place in this capacity. Your muffin timer is done. Let's check these puppies out. Alexa, stop! Here, we'll just move this over here for a sec. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Check these babies out. We gotta stab them to make sure they're done before we do anything. Holy crap, you guys, look at these, they're beautiful. I think we're gonna do like five more minutes. Oh my God.
Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Wow, they look so amazing. So I first heard the description of Skillet as a meal from Better Homes and Gardens. Uh, when MVP and I first started cooking together, we bought a Better Homes and Gardens cookbook and we basically made vegetarian versions of everything that was in there if they had meat in them at all. It was a very vegetarian friendly cookbook. It has sections on beans and grains. Um, so it wasn't really complicated. And um, it, basically there was like a, a bean and rice skillet and it basically used like that parboiled white rice and like a can of tomatoes and a can of kidney beans and some frozen vegetables and we ate the crap out of that recipe so it's like a one pot recipe a skillet is basically a one pot recipe made in a skillet and it has all of your food groups in it so depending on how full this one gets, I might put the rice in here and I might just put it on top of rice. He's spinning. Rusty also loves zucchini. Come sit over here. Sit. <laughs> He's a good boy. Such a good boy. He is so cute, Burger. He's the cutest. I'm gonna turn the heat down on my soup a little bit because it is starting to stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so we're gonna salt and pepper this. And considering the type of vegetables that are in here, I'm probably going to use some very mild seasonings. Um, that being said, I'm adding this stuff. Who here knows what this is? It's a cultured soy product called tempeh. And it kind of smells like musty beans. And that's what it is. It's basically aged beans and it's pre-digested, yum. <laughs> um, it is made out of soy and other grains. This is a multi-grain one, but it's very rich in nutrients because it has been like sprouted and baby plants have the most nutrients in them for some reason. But I'm basically just gonna crumble this in here and brown it with everything else. And then I'm gonna season it with like a little bit of soy sauce and maybe some spicy sprinkles but it has such a strong flavor that um, whatever you do to it it's still gonna taste like 
Tempe. It's an acquired taste. We didn't even start eating it until a couple years ago. Alexa, stop. So that's the muffin timer. Uh, and clearly I'm not gonna have enough room in here for the rice too, so I'm probably just gonna have rice as a side dish. So on Weight Watchers, soy products are zero points, um, so long as they're just plain soy. So tempeh and tofu and soybeans are all zero points, um, cause they're basically just beans. And I'm gonna put the lid on because that will steam the tempe without it touching the bottom of the pan. So let me go grab that. Ugh. Hello, Nanaterra. Hi, Sargareth. Thank you guys for coming. Um, this is gonna be the greatest moment of the stream. I'm taking the muffins out of the oven. And we've already seen them once. They are beautiful. I hope they taste as good as they look. Sargreth, I'm making a skillet with tempeh in it. Are you a tempeh fan? You had it, it's good. It's MVP's favorite. I, I'm, I like it, I'm not like obsessed with it. Um, ooh, hot, steamy. Look at these muffins! They look so good. Taking one out so that I can try it when it cools off. Apparently I have to put a couple things away before I can use the counter. So how are you guys doing tonight? I had a very nice day. I started week two of Couch 5K, which is a running training program, which I'm very excited about. And I did some cleaning. I actually, now this is gonna be gross, but I swept the house for the first time since I've been sick. And it actually wasn't as bad as I thought. I vacuumed a lot. I cannot stand the floor with cat litter on it. So I have vacuumed quite a bit, but I did not have the stamina to do any sweeping. Oh, yay! So, uh, Sargreth has redeemed 200 of his beans so that I might eat a cookie. Thank you, Sargreth. Today we were eating Biscoff cookies. If you are unfamiliar with Biscoff cookies, I highly encourage you to grab some because they are delicious. Okay, let's see. <laughs> MVP is trying to focus. I can't send a picture.
Nana Tara says, do you have to be a member of the military to do the AFPA certification? Um, I'm not sure if there's more than one AFPA certification, but mine is a nutrition certification. It's the American Fitness Professionals Associates. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if that's what you're thinking about, but you do not have to be a member of the military for that. Burger, if, um, <clears throat> if you have enough beans, the way that you redeem the cookie is exclamation point cookie. And if that doesn't work for you, you click on the treasure chest that's on the screen. And there's a section that says redeem. Yes, that does make more sense. <laughs> You need at least 200 beans. Hot and steamy. That's very good. So I gotta make some notes here. It tastes great, but it's not as sweet as the muffin should be. So I'm gonna say that. Nana Tara says, did you say you cooked with NBC? Like the TV station? <laughs> so you can definitely, these are so edible, but if you wanted a little sweeter, I would definitely add a little bit more. No, I have not. So I would say maybe three quarters of a cup of maple syrup. No, um, not a Tara. So I basically started streaming on Twitch in April. <clears throat> and before that I had um, a food blog when I lived in Austin. And I did that for five years. And um, then I took my nutrition course and then I decided to start streaming. When I had my food blog, I did um, go to some events where I spoke but the food blog isn't even like online anymore. It's very fragmented and I don't really have anything to show for it. So I don't really link, link to any of that anymore. Not really any seasonings in there that I want to use. I think I'll just put some ginger on it. Yee!
You must have your hearing off today. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Doug. Yeah, that is a lot of maple syrup. So it doesn't have any sugar in it. Um, so it has maple syrup instead. So the, the recipe that I based this off of suggested a cup of sugar. Um, so I wanted to do um, maple syrup because it's going to be lower glycemic. Better for a breakfasty muffin as opposed to a like indulgent muffin. Um, next time I might use a combination of um, <coughs> coconut sugar and maple syrup. But it is really tasty. I'll definitely make them again. I'll just tweak it next time. Mmm, <laughs> sour growth is getting fun. That's great. And Jinx's chicken smells good. Nana wants to know who my favorite vegan vegetarian cookbook author is. I actually don't really have a favorite. Um, I like trying out different cookbooks, um, and usually the more prolific authors don't have a lot of cookbooks, like, frequently, so I go back and forth and try new people out all the time. Sargareth usually eats bon me when we go out for pho. I haven't had either of those things, and I feel really bad about it. I really do. Um, I, Nana, clearly I have like every popular vegan cookbook. Happy Herbivore, yep, that's a good one. I just got a couple new cookbooks that I'm gonna try out. Let me show you, because they're right here. Ah! <laughs> so my microphone got caught on the lamp. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> you guys don't see the behind the scenes stuff, but there's wires everywhere. Hi, Rusty. Yeah, I'm fine. I wasn't lying. Hey, did you get out of the way? <laughs> so I got these for Christmas. <clears throat> don't really need this knife anymore. This one is a VBQ by people I've never heard of. <laughs> oh wow, that's a long cooldown. Alexa, how many minutes is 3,000 seconds? Fifty minutes. I'll have to change that. I'm sorry. Uh, this one looked really good too. It's based on a blog, I think, from the same name. And then I got this one, it's How to Make Healthy Vegan Cheese. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Rich Roll, but this is his, his wife, um, her cookbook. And um, they're all nut-based cheeses that don't use carrageenan, so it has like Irish moss and acidophilus capsules to make the cheesiness. Aquafaba, which is bean juice. So we get to see you cooking out of all these. So that's part of the plan. Um, unfortunately with this one, what I have to do is basically make the cheeses and then dehydrate them for like 24 hours because they're all most of them are hard cheeses, and the, the probiotics need time to culture in order to make the cheesy flavor. So this would have to be a two-day thing. So basically I would start it and then make other things, and then the next day go back and try them out. But yes, that is part of the plan. But basically I have to go through and I have to like bookmark some stuff that I want to try out. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> Sweet potato yeast donuts. Yes, please. Hey, Mama Bean, look what I found. <laughs> Sweet potato yeast donuts. 
in my cookbook from Sweet Potato Soul. Nana Terra, just to subscribe with the tier one sub. Thank you so much. Yes, you have missed half the stuff. To be completely honest with you, you were pretty much done. Uh, Nana, thank you so much for the sub. And uh, I have a sub wheel, so let's check that out. So far today, you guys, I have to write this down. Jinx, on Wednesday, you pick vegetable is cauliflower. And VP resubbed and I made a margarita. So, Nana Tara, let's see what you get on the sub wheel. Dessert night, okay. So I owe Ski and you dessert night. Ski, Nana Tara, both get dessert night. So Ski never got back to me on um, what they might want for a dessert night. So I don't know what I'm making yet. But so basically what I want to know is if there is something you would like to see made as a, as, a, as a dessert. So either like a cake, pie, donuts, ice cream, or you could just say, I like this type of cuisine. Can you make a dessert that's from that? But you don't have to get back to me about it right now if you don't want to. You can think about it. You can send me a message on Discord. If you know what you want, you can tell me right now. But here is the Discord if you want to join. And then you can just let me know at your convenience. Okay, let me think about it. Great. Okay, uh, so I think this is burning. So let me check it. <laughs> Yep, that's caramelized, faux show. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> Whoops. All right. And our cheesy red lentil soup is definitely liquefied. So what we're going to do, I'm going to plate both of these up. I'm just going to put this in a, in a container bowl. And lift a spoonful out so you can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to eat that for dinner, so I'll plate that up too. Rusty, what are you doing? Burning slightly just means more flavor, you're right. Mm, I should probably hold on to this with a towel. Okay, so Oops. cauliflower. That's right. So to recap, this recipe had a cup of red lentils. It is a very nice warm meal. So basically this is like a cheesy soup, 
but there's no cheese in it. The texture comes from red lentils, which if you cook long enough, they completely dissolve and become nice and thick like this. And then you basically add um, whatever vegetables you want to it. Typically I add potatoes, but because um, Weight Watchers was working so well for MVP, I decided that I was going to use a zero point vegetable instead. Um, so I used cauliflower. <laughs> Sakharath is prejudiced against vowels today for some reason. Okay. Um, but it's red lentils, sage, smoked paprika, some red pepper flakes, Bragg's liquid aminos, nutritional yeast, salt and pepper, broth, garlic, onions. And I'll put this recipe um, on my blog later tonight. You guys, I left the oven on. <laughs> But it's just very rich um, and warming and hearty, and it is very cheesy. It's one of MVP's favorite soups, and I told her I was going to make it. She got all excited, and I said that I was going to use cauliflower instead of potatoes, and she said, why do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's taste it with the cauliflower. It tastes fine. She'll, she'll think it's good. Okay. So that's my soup. I'm going to let this sit over here to cool. And for my bowl... I already have this rice. I'm just gonna scoop some of that out and microwave it and then top it with this, these veggies. This skillet is so hearty that I don't really need a lot of grains. I'll just do like a half a cup. Ooh, that doesn't go in the freezer. Silly me. I'm so glad that you guys came today. I had a really great time. So that's basically it. That's what I'm going to do. If you mix it up with the rice, got a complete hearty meal. Virtually oil free, virtually fat free, but still very yummy. Flavored with the season of burnt. Mama Bean just been spending time with the mister before he has to go back to work. Yep. Nana Tara says that's just the kind of meal Hubbers and me would eat. Great. So you guys, um, I am going to post the recipes on my blog website thing. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me. Um, here and on Twitter and join the Discord and you will have access to all of the behind the scenes things too. So thank you uh, so much for Jinx and McBig Pants and Nana Terra for the subs. I really appreciate it. And we will be back on Wednesday at four o'clock to make some more stuff with cauliflower. 
as per Jinx's subwheel spin. So I will let you guys know on the Twitter when the recipes are on the blog. And that's where you can find me. I'm there like all the time. Twitter is my jam. So I really appreciate it, you guys. Let me see who else is on. And maybe we'll do a raid. I haven't gotten any alerts about people going live, so I really don't know who's going or who's doing stuff at the moment. Probably nobody. Let's go, let's go raid. Oh, this is hard. I know Mama's house is on. That was my first thought. <clears throat> let's go raid Mama's house. She's real sweet and it's fun to hang out in her stream. Yeah, let's do it. Mama's house, 1984. So let her know where you came from. She'd really appreciate it. She's a sweetheart. Always a good time in her stream. <laughs> Thank you, Sargareth. You guys have a great night. I will see you on Wednesday at four o'clock. Thank you again. I really like it. Thanks for coming. Bye. <laughs>